wanted to explain a little bit about COVID, I managed to find something that looks a lot like uh, the virus, which we've all become quite familiar with. So, um, you know, this, this is a, a nice uh, way for you to visualize what the coronavirus looks like. So um, this is obviously a hugely enlarged form because viral particles are tiny. So that in one drop of seawater, you can have uh, more than 10 million virus particles. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. In one drop of seawater. Now, the, the thing is, those virus particles alone are harmless because you can, you know, they, they don't really, they're not really alive on their own. They need to um, hijack our cells by entering our body and um, hijacking and entering our cells and then using our genetic material. And that's how they replicate and infect our body. So that's wow. one very important thing for people to realize. And that's um, now, so in terms of the virus, it basically um, looks like this. It has um, a protein shell, okay? And on the outside, it has a fatty envelope. And that fatty envelope is its point of weakness. And that's why we wash our hands um, with soap and water for 20 seconds um, because if there's any of these little particles on our hands, which could be, you know, uh, you know, hundreds of thousands of them, um, or, you know, millions of them rather, you basically um, deactivate that um, fatty shell and you destroy the virus and it can't harm you. And that's very important before you touch your eyes, your nose or your mouth um, because these other little spiky bits, and this is, this is very important now, these um, little protein spikes, um, and this is what um, all the, uh, you know, the vaccination information that you're hearing is all uh, targeted around this, um, these spike proteins. Um, so uh, it has this spike protein and on the inside you have a little piece of genetic material called RNA. So, and um, that's what it uses to um, replicate itself. Now these little spikes are actually a little key on these um, viral particles. And the um, lock for these keys to you know, insert into are on these ACE2 receptors. Um, which are, uh, you know, uh, quite abundant on the cells that line our upper respiratory tract. So inside our nose, in our mouth, on our eyes, and also in other parts of our body. But this is usually the portal of entry. So basically what happens is if we take this, uh, these virus particles into our system, these little spike protein, um, are the key, they find the lock and they enter our cells, hijack um, our cells and replicate um, you know, and in the process, they can destroy that cell and then they send off, you know, uh, you know, millions of more virus particles for our um, immune system to fight. So, I mean, that's basically, and I might actually just quickly skip to um, vaccines a bit to, to touch on, to touch on, um, you know, while I've got this little ball here. Um, so now um, this spike protein is basically um, what, all the vaccines are trying to um, uh, show our body. Basically, it's like it's like um, this. This spike protein is like the license plate, okay, of this virus, right? And you have to imagine that your immune system um, is it's like it's it's our body's traffic police, okay? Mm -hmm. So what happens with the vaccine? And and this is why vaccines are totally safe. Vaccines are um, basically getting a small piece of um, genetic material and inserting it um, into your body and telling your body um, that this, to produce a, a little, you know, um, spike protein that looks just like this one, okay? Mm -hmm. But it's not mm -hmm. the real virus. It's just mm -hmm. um, a replica. And mm -hmm. what happens is once it tells your body, Okay, this is, this is the one that we've got to avoid, just like the L drivers on the road. We've got to avoid yeah. this one, okay? Um, <laughs> you tell your body, and then, and then that little injection that you got with that genetic piece of material, your body destroys it. And it also destroys those, it mounts an antibody response, okay? Mm. It, and then it remembers, it creates a memory of this um, little virus. Um, what the plant. virus, yes. So, so say once you've had your complete course of vaccination, and that's very important, not just one dose, but you complete the course, what happens is when this virus comes along to your system, your um, immune system has already seen we'll it. recognize it, yeah. And it'll go, hang on a second. No, no, that's bad. That's bad. Avoid, yes. avoid. And, so. and it remembers it, and it basically mounts an immune response, 
and gets rid of it and you don't get interesting. sick. Interesting. That's okay? a very interesting analogy. Now now in terms of the um mutations, okay, the natural history of any virus um is that it can mutate over time. Okay, mm. because that RNA um, uh, strand of genetic material is much less stable than DNA, and so it can, you know, get little deletions here or there, and that's mm. what's happened in this strain that's predominant now in the UK and mm. also in South Africa. Now, um, sometimes the mutations are such that the virus becomes um, less, uh, you know, virulent or less likely to infect. Unfortunately, this um, mutation seems to improve the virus's ability to transmit and that may be through various mechanisms it may mean that this these little spiky um you know uh, spike proteins are binding even tighter to mm. the cells mm. and they're making even more copies so the people that are getting these are having higher viral loads and we'll right. talk about that later yes um, and 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 that's but the you know the worry that the vaccines won't work i mean by and large everybody is quite happy because you know there's um you know it, the vaccines basically are designed to recognize this plate the mutation at this stage is like imagining that just a little corner of that l is is deleted just a little yes. corner but we can still recognize it and your body can still get rid of it so um just wanted to reassure everybody that so far the you know the vaccines they think um should be fine uh, against um you know even the mutated strains but the important thing is that everybody gets vaccinated as soon as possible because the more chance you have of the virus being around and infecting people um the more chance you're giving for the virus to mutate okay